There are a lot of time intelligence functions in DAX. That's one of its superpowers. There's many times that you can compare data year to date, prior year or year over year. There's functions such as closing balance month or closing balance year or um, dates between or start of month or end of month or end of year. There's also previous month and previous quarter and previous year or even next year. There's end of month, there's total um, quarter to date, total year to date, lots of time intelligence functions in DAX. What I'd like to start with is an introduction to the function total year to date. This returns a value that represents an evaluation of the dates in the current year to date and gives you a total year to date. I'm going to go to the sheet or the page called page 3 and I'm going to clear any slices that I may have operating. I also want to remove all fields except total sales from my matrix. Just leaving total sales in my values bucket. I then want to right click internet sales and create a new measure. And this new measure is going to be called year to date sales equals. I now use the total year to date, though notice there's a month to date, quarter to date, but the total year to date. And I now press square bracket because I need to bring up an expression or an aggregate. And this is my total sales. I want the total year to date for my total sales based on my date. And I'm going to grab that from the dim date table. And so I scroll, there it is there. All right, close bracket and press enter. I'd like to format this particular measure called year to date sales as currency English New Zealand. And then what I'd like to do is add it to my matrix. I just drag it and drop it on my matrix and it appears to the right of total sales. So my total sales and my year to date total sales at this point in time are exactly the same. But if I add a couple of extra uh, fields from my dim date query to my rows bucket, and these would be calendar quarter, goes into my rows bucket, and I'll put it just under year, and English month name, I'm also going to put that under calendar quarter. And so what I'm able to do now is what they call drill, drill down and drill up. I'm going to click on this button here. This is my drill down button, and if I click it, it will drill down to the quarter. And there you can see one, two, three, four, bang my quarters. So I can see my years and quarters. I might just resize this a little bit, bring this over a little bit, and stretch it just so I can see more clearly what I'm working with here. Because we are going to get a lot more data showing. So I'll just stretch this. And stretch this. Okay, so I'm seeing my years and I'm seeing my quarters. Now I want to drill down again to my month. So I'm going to hit this particular button here to drill down further. And now I can see the year 2006. I can see the first quarter is January, February, and March. And if I just stretch this information, I'm seeing my year to date figures as opposed to my total sales. So in January, these figures are the same, but then these two are added together to give me my year to date. And then these three are added together to give me my year to date sales at the end of March for the first quarter in the year 2006. To drill up, I use this button to drill up and that takes me back to my quarters and drill up again, takes me back to my years. I use this button to drill down to my quarters, click it again to drill down to my months. So they're very handy buttons to drill up and to drill down through your data.